Hello and welcome to my video of how I install CK Editor and CK Finder into a Drupal 7 website. We'll start with a fresh install of Drupal 7 and a list of the three items that you will need to download. This is the CK Editor module, the CK Editor software itself and the CK Finder software. And it's this CK Finder software that would enable users to upload images and files to your website. Um, we'll have a quick look at the location of the CK Editor module and that's the Drupal.org website. You'll scroll down to the bottom and look in the downloads and we're version 7 now of Drupal and you'll need to download the tar.gz file, uh, sometimes referred to as the tarball file. I've already done that so we'll come back to that a little bit later. The other two things that you'll need to download is the CK Editor software itself and that's the zip version there and also CK Finder is the zip version of that as well. So we'll return to our website and we'll need to install the modules or the new module so we go to the module section and what we'll do here is click on the install new module link and we'll browse to where we downloaded our module. Excellent feature, excellent new feature of Drupal 7 that is. And that's where we installed it or downloaded it, uh, CK Editor. As you can see it's so easy now to install a theme or a module. Just browse to it, click it and press the install button. I can't get much simpler than that. That'll go away and it prepared to install. It won't take too long. Told you and there you click on the enable newly added modules link and that will take you to the, the module section and we'll click on the core to reduce that and what we're doing now we'll tick the enable box alongside CK editor and press the save configuration button okay that's all done next step is to copy over the software, that's the CK Editor and the CK Finder software, into our Drupal website. Now I use Dreamweaver but whatever text editor takes your fancy. The name of my test site at the moment is called Test Sites and within that you have this f uh, directory folder called Sites. In there is All, within that is Modules. As you can see uh, you've got the CK Editor module already in there and that's what we that was what we installed just now. If you click into that you'll see there's another folder called CK Editor and if you look into that it says copy here dot text. It will open that up but basically what that's saying is all the folders and files from the CK Editor software that we downloaded needs to be placed here. Now you could do this in whatever way takes your fancy and we'll do the old-fashioned way of co copying and pasting. Now here is my test site and within that we've, we'll repeat ourselves, we're going to sites, we're going to all, we're going to modules, we're going to CK editor and we're going to CK editor again and that's that copy here text file and this is what we downloaded from the uh, website, the CK editor website we'll expand the f uh, folder there and we'll copy all these files into the CK editor okay that's already done so all those files have been copied over we'll go uh, back one step now so here we are in the CK editor module folder and we'll see we've got CK editor software in there what we need to do is uh, bring in the CK finder software at the same level as this CK editor software so going back to where we downloaded our CK Finder, this time we won't expand the folder, we'll simply highlight it, right click, do a copy, come over to the left side and do a paste. OK, so that's done. Um, next step is now to configure um, a couple of files. What we do, return to Dreamweaver and we'll give that a refresh. 
so what you see here now is that this is the CK editor module and within there you see the CK editor software and now the CK finder software so that's all in place while we're in the CK finder what we do we'll open that up and we go to a config file here and we'll need to amend a few lines here so these lines here that contain the function check of authentication we need to either delete those lines or as I sometimes do or prefer to do is just comment them out the next thing we need to do is copy over a line of text I'm over here I've just reduced that and what we'll do we're going to the CK editor module and that will contain a readme.txt file and we need to hunt down for a particular line there it's quite a way down, it's line around about to line 242 and it's this require once line here so we'll copy that and what we need to, need to do is we need to paste that into the CK editor config file and it's about line 63 where it's base URL and we'll simply paste it in there and we'll save that file next step is to go into the default folder here and within that there's a, a file called settings and we'll open that up and we'll scroll down to around about line 305 okay and there's this line here we highlight that part there because we need to uh, copy that and paste that there and just change that to localhost okay because we're on our local machine if it was our own website we can do a couple of other a couple, excuse me and that is uh, we could do dot example dot com which sometimes works for people could www.example.com or if your Drupal is contained within a subfolder you'll do it along those lines if that doesn't work possibly just remove the www one of those will work I've never I haven't actually done it on my um, my live website so I'm not quite sure if it works but that's what I've been led to believe anyway we digress we're on the local host machine so that's the settings and we'll save that next we'll need to add three new folders and we'll add them to within the CK editor module and within that the CK finder software in there is a folder called user files and these where the three new folders will actually go and they will be called images files and flash okay without those it won't work next we need to set some permissions for the usage you'll need to go into the people section and within that is a tab called permissions and here you'll see the CK editor area and because this is a, a fresh install is only administrator there but we do need to give ourselves the CK finder access so we'll, we'll tick that box and do the all important save at the bottom okay that's done so next we will need to configure CK editor so click on the configuration link there that will take you into this area there's an area called content authoring and CK editor so click on that and what you see here are two profiles advanced and full and two input formats filtered HTML and full now administrator defaults to full and as we are the only person on this site at the moment and we are administrator we'll amend this one just for now so we we'll click on the edit link there and we we'll go down to the file browser settings link here you see the file browser type and we'll select CK Finder and for these other two sections here 
the same as in the link dialog above so we'll keep those as defaults otherwise you can just select CK Finder so we'll accept the defaults and while you're here you may as well go into the advanced settings here and there's um, the spell checker which I like to uh, click on it's the uh, the skate or the skate here, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that and it's the spell check as you type which is very similar to word where if it doesn't recognize a word from its dictionary it will underline it and the default is US English and not English so bear that in mind so I click on save and return okay you're all just about done the last thing I will actually suggest you do is again is to clear the caches so you'll need to go into the configuration now and there's this development performance area click on performance and you see this button over here where it clears all the caches so give that a press so that's fine and now we're ready to add some content if all this has worked a uh, basic page will do for this example um, earlier on um, I mentioned that it's filtered or full because we're administrator you'll have to go into the full so straight away you can see that there's a, a nice WYSIWYG type set of icons at the top there and for the title it's test one and this is a test and importantly we'll see now if we can actually upload so click on the image button there you can see this browse server button and here is the upload button and you can just navigate to anywhere on your computer so we'll click on browse and we'll go to the desktop and I've done um, already done one but the has as a parliament so select that and send that to the server and you can do a little piece of um, editing here the height for this is you know, 190 we'll just change it to say 120 this, uh, sorry about the preceding zero there not required and you can put a border around it of like two pixels um, you can unlock the ratio if you wish if you wish and there um, you can reset the size if you want to so we're happy with that so we'll okay that there you can see the image is there straight away and you, if you want to move that down one you could just put your cursor between the T and the picture and press enter and we can now save this but we'll press publishing options because we'll, we'll put this to the front page so we'll select that and we'll save okay so it, it returns you to this uh, we click on our home link button now and there you see it so this is our home page um, test one this is a test and there's the image that we downloaded so to summarize you'll download the CK editor module and the CK editor and CK finder software you install the CK editor module you copy over the CK editor CK finder software and you configure the CK finder config.php file and the default settings.php file okay that completes the uh, video hope you enjoyed it hope it helps you uh, in your Drupal 7 quest and your CK Editor CK Finder. Thank you very much.